Welcome to the Creating News Items demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create and post news items for students in your D2L Brightspace class. At the end of this demo, you will be able to create, post, and time activate news items on the homepage for your courses. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. In the News widget, click on the drop-down arrow, then select New News Item option. In the Headline field, type in the title of your message. Example, Welcome. In the Content field, type in your message. Example, Welcome to this class. For more information on how to use the HTML Editor box, see the HTML Editor demo. You might want to consider putting your picture and a picture of your textbook here. That way, when students arrive into your course, they can identify you and they can verify that they have the right book. You might want to give them directions on what to do first, such as locating the syllabus under content. If you use an outside source, such as Pearson MyLabs or Cengage Labs, you could add directions and a link here. Under Availability, you can choose a start and end date for when this message will be shown. For example, the news item with the picture of the book and the ISBN number might start four days before the class and run through the first week of the class. Click the Add a File button to attach a file from your computer or flash drive to this news item. Click on the Record Audio button and use your microphone to record up to three minutes of a voice recording for your students. If you have a webcam and microphone, you can click the Record Video button to record a short video clip for your students to view. Under Additional Release Conditions, you will be given the options to restrict who can see the message. For example, you can have different news items for different sections in your course. This also means that you can make specific news items for students who score above or below a grade on an assignment, such as See Me This Week or Great Job on Test 1. See the Release Conditions demo for more information and ideas on restrictions you can use. Click the Publish button on the bottom left when you're finished making changes. You have now successfully created a new news item.